With the abstract works, um, they're actually an ode to Mark Rothko, whom I still like idealize in the sense of just um, looking at his color-filled work, especially while I was in varsity, looking at textbooks. I like, could imagine like this massive landscapes that he would create and just being lost in that high saturation of color. And sometimes I can't leave or depart um, away from his link into abstraction. But I think over time, I'm starting to find my own route within abstraction. And I see them more as what's happening either in the subconscious mind or somewhere within. And what I enjoy about the process is that you can't plan it at all. You can't plan the medium, you can't plan the outcome. And it's really been just seeing that journey. It's like starting a work and in a period of a couple of days, it's complete. All I do is just pour into the surface and then eventually something becomes or doesn't become as well.